Yes, welcome back to Learn with Laptic. Today's video is about analog output interfacing with the S1200 PLC. Uh, as I said in the previous uh, part 1, please refer to the part 1. Uh, quick recap, this is AQ, uh, SB1232 AQ module single channel because I am going to drive the VFD with the analog output 0 to 10 volt. I am using this. Uh, this is a 12 bit uh, card. You have to refer to the data sheet of the bit resolution of the card before programming. So we can insert the into the PLC slot and we will do the programming. Uh, let us do open for the programming. Board. Select the hardware CPU and now go to the signal card. This is the analog output card AQ. Uh, 12 bit the AQ board so now the board is installed in the configuration module configuration window you just see you can choose whether it is a voltage or current I am going to control by VFD so 0 to 10 volt I am assigning 0 to 10 volt as 0 to 50 hertz frequency to 0 to 10 volt I am going to match it so I am selecting the voltage now voltage mode 0 to 10 plus or minus 10 volt then address address is 80 start at the address is 80 and I would tag you can see Q W80 okay this is the address we must note down for the program okay so that's all okay now hardware configuration is done Go to the program block. So this is my program block. Uh, take one empty block. Okay. No max function. So this is a no max function. So this is minimum frequency to maximum frequency. You can set it zero to. You can give any tab. So assign the tab. Define the tab like this. Global memory. Global memory. MD0. DNZ. Define. So now the frequency is 0 to 50 hertz. I am going to assign that is normalize my 0 to 50 hertz frequency to my DAC. So my DAC frequency, my DAC resolution is um, 2 power 12, that is 4096. Then you get another empty block. Scale X. So here changes 0 to 4096. 96. Here you can assign normalized frequency. Assign one tab, internet tab. This is real. You can take real. This is ink to real. Again, here you can give, you copy this, paste it. Okay, give one memory tag. Out. I'm just normalizing my 0 to 50 hertz into 
the DAC range 0 to 4096. Again, I am scaling down to um, my DAC output 0 to 10. So define this DAC here again. So now that's all. We take one again one empty block. We move it to my chair. Then you copy this variable, put it here, paste it here. And here this is very important output. Our output is QW80. So this is it will assign our hardware output, hardware type. So that's all. Very very easy. So first take one empty block. You make it normalized to 50, 0 to 50 Hz to uh, 0 to 4096 for tag programming. Then uh, you can again move that to that of QWE. So done. Now compile. So we just select it. Select it. Load the program. Very simple. Now we check the output. So we will check the output now. Two point two. So like this, we can vary the frequency. Accordingly, I will get the output now. Uh, I have normalized to nearby uh, 40 to 50 Hz to maximum value. So 0 to you can also normalize to 0 to 50 Hz smooth transition, 0 to 50 Hz to 0 to 10 volt. So this can be given to the VFD and uh, the control can be done. So this is how we can do the simple um, analog output programming with the uh, SR1200 PLC. So please subscribe to get more technical videos. Thank you for watching.